Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back with a track guide for this week's daily race seat at Monza. It's the no chicane variation in group three. It's on racing hard tires. And yeah, we're using the Supra for this guide on the current BOP because on the current BOP, this car is very dominant. Now, this guide should still be helpful to you after any BOP changes because the braking references are all gonna be very similar. So yeah, if you do enjoy these videos, they do help you out. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section if it's managed to improve your overall pace around this combination, if it's managed to start you higher up on the grid, and if it's managed to gain you some driver rating, that'd be brilliant to read in the comments. So thank you everyone who watches these videos. Let's get on with the track guide and let's see if we can give you some tips to try and find you some pace around this track. Now, obviously there are only a number of corners in this combination where you're gonna gain pace. So you really do need to hook them corners up because qualifying is gonna be very, very close because like I say, there's only four braking zones really and four places where you can make up time. So you really have to make sure you maximize your potential on them areas. So starting the lap, obviously first thing to do is make sure you get a pretty good exit off the final corner. This may sound very silly, but this is actually quite important because if you lose half a tenth here, that's going to be emphasized by over a tenth before the braking zone. So that might not sound like much, but in this combination, a tenth on the leaderboard in qualifying could be the difference between five or six places on the grid, especially by the end of the week. So really try and get that exit speed sorted, working out the final corner, make sure you get that fourth gear up shift early and get the exit speed. So for turn one, you're not going to lift. This is just completely flat out. What you want to do though is try and take a nice narrow line into the apex try and keep it nice and tight through there for the shortest distance through the corner then you're going to be looking for the 150 board you see it there that is what i use as my braking reference i use that to get on the brakes nice and early so as we go in pretty much level you can see it in the top right hand corner there we're on the brakes almost identically level with the 150 now you're going to go down through the gears and then as you're approaching the corner, you can see I go into first gear just before I'm rotating in. So you can see we've just gone into first gear and you're going to attack this corner. You can see just before we get to the curb, we're going to go back up to second gear. And you can see we want to go over that sausage. You can see the right hand tire is going to go to the right hand side of it, left hand tire to the left of it. And again, as we approach this corner on the front or aggressively, and you can see again, you want to go over the middle of the other sausage curb. If you get it right, you can get a good exit speed. Make sure you get in third gear before you come out of that exit so you get better momentum. And now into the next right hand corner we're looking for the 50 boards we're going to break slightly past that 50 board though you'll see it now as we're going past it onto the brakes and you want to take again a nice tight line into this corner because it's a cambered corner so you really want to get into the apex and then get on the throttle as early as you can down to second gear for rotation again you do it a lot in this game them extra downshifts just to rotate the car and then up to third gear up to fourth gear and now we're going to be looking for that 50 board again but we're going to break just short of it this time so you're going to see we're going to break before the 50 board for the second lesmo so as we approach that 50 board onto the brakes a little bit early and now for this corner you again want to get that right hand tire onto that green bit of astro on the right hand side almost down to third gear and then as we're approaching this corner and you're clipping it you're almost going to want to get into fourth gear as you approach it so onto fourth gear nice and early. now i didn't do this perfect you're going to see the ghost in front of me look at that pause away that's my ghost on a different lap that actually gains about a tenth or more there so there's over a tenth or two, two, two maybe two tenths at a push to gain on that corner for myself now we're looking for the next braking reference we're using this little bit of tarmac just past the overhead board that little bit of tarmac on the right side make sure you're braking before that down through the gears and you're going to go down to third gear as you approach the corner here now you're going to see we're going to trail break into the corner as we're going through to the apex and as we get onto the apex we're going to get onto the throttle and you want to get your left hand tire onto this tiny bit of green astro try not to be too aggressive on them yet the yellow and black curbs they can be quite dangerous so right hand tire now onto the green bit of astro on this side and again you can actually clip them little sausage them little green uh, sorry the little black and yellow curves you can actually kind of clip them very so gently now for the exit of the Ascari chicane you can see we're going to get the left hand tire over the curb you can be quite aggressive on that curb more aggressive than i actually realized so you can actually push the limits on there and then powering your way up into the final corner this is all about pushing that braking zone but making sure that you get the car into the apex so again i look for the 100 board on the left hand side you can see it there we're going to go past that 100 board and now we're going to get the car into the apex now what you're going to see we do we go down to third gear just before this white line there on the track just go into third gear just before the white line across the track that's going to rotate the car in into the corner and then you're going to see we're going to be patient very patient and then when we feel the grip there you can feel the rotation up to fourth gear just as you feel it rotate 
and then you're going to try and stay on the power all the way you can actually let the car run a little bit wide here because as it gets to the full width of the track it grips up and you can carry on that momentum now we're going to go to the right hand side of the track to use the shortest line possible over the line and we go over with a 1 minute 36.7 it's not a particularly amazing lap but it should be good enough to help you lot out so let's watch this lap again from the chase camera and see if it can show you from you know the outside view what we're doing on them corners so again like i said before final corner extremely important because like i say if you're coming out that corner half a mile per hour slow that's going to be emphasized by the time you get to the end of the straight by maybe a miles per hour and that's going to be the whole length of the straight which could be a tenth of a second it might sound like a small amount but it, in this qualifying it's going to be very important so make sure you get a good exit off that final corner to start your lap looking for that 150 rotating you can see how much we take off the curves here it really shows you on this angle just how aggressive you can be on them curves you can take a lot more than what i realized off them curves and that's where i think we started finding a bit of race pace as well yesterday where we could start utilizing the track limits there now the two lesmo corners you can see very important to get it into the apex if you slightly miss the apex you're going to run wide again on that corner a little bit hesitant into fourth gear need to be so brave getting into fourth gear for that corner like on the throttle early the earlier you get on the more risk there is that the car's going to run wide though so just factor that into your decision on that corner how aggressive you're going to be now for the ascari chicane you can see braking just on that little bit of tarmac and again using the curve see on the astro over the yellow and black curve on the green astro on the left hand side and just using the full four amount of track available you can really be aggressive there and just be careful though if you hit it at a wrong angle it can flick the car out and you'll be in the wall so into the final corner braking just past that 100 board again patience 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 up to fourth gear let that grip build up and you can see here just as it's about to run wide it grips up just on the white line and enables you to keep the car on the track and then you're going to go over the line for the shortest route possible on the right hand side and a 36.7 so a pretty solid lap hopefully that helps you out let me know in the comment section if it does hopefully you can improve your qualifying position i'll see you all soon thanks again for watching everyone